Good evening, everyone. It's Reverend Charles Ulick from Grace Episcopal Church here in my home as I'm winding down my day. I hope you are have had had a great afternoon and day on this 15th day, 16th day of uh, September. Uh, today we've been celebrating the festival day of Ninya of Galloway uh, of Scot of Scotland. Uh, we celebrate him, and I'll tell you a little bit more about his incredible journey of being the first Christian to preach the gospel in Britain and in Scotland. Let us put ourselves in God's holy presence on this night with our Compline night prayer. We begin this evening on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 127. <clears throat> the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 67, found on page 675 in your Book of Common Prayer, also found in your Holy Scriptures, Psalm 67. We, we, we will read this in its entirety Please join me in reading it, or please let us reflect on it together. May the God of merciful to be uh, to us and, and blessed, bless us, show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity, and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing, and may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scriptures continue with a passage from Matthew's Gospel. Uh, this, this passage of the Gospel is at the very end of the Gospel, chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mount to which Jesus had directed them. When he, they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I was saying, this uh, today we've been celebrating the festival day of Ninya of Galloway. Now, many of you probably have never heard of Ninya of Galloway. Uh, he was the first um, Christian uh, missionary to Britain. Um, even during the Roman occupation of the Roman Empire, he traveled to the west side of the wall uh, during that period of time. Uh, this is during the 5th century. 
He was born a Celt uh, in, uh, in southern Scotland and in about 360, they believe. His first major preaching of the gospel was uh, to the north, as I mentioned, to Scotland, and then to the territory to the south. He uh, it was also uh, noted to be his contemporaries were Ambrose, Jer Jerome, and Augustine. But chiefly, he was influenced by Martins of, of Tours. He was spent a considerable of time under his tutelage, and then throughout then, uh, he created the, uh, the foundation of Gaul. Now, uh, in Latin, uh, these places were probably, in, and also in, probably in Gaelic as well, they were called uh, uh, Lug Tuing, which means how small little house, or in um, Shanty was also another name in Celt, uh, uh, old little house. But he created, uh, Martin of Dior's, uh created this place called Little House in Celt. And because of the monastery there, um, Nenya uh, became uh, infatuated with uh, creating missions and places of worship. And so as a part of his mission to Britain, he created these little places along all these little communities, um, hundreds of them uh, throughout Britain. And one of the, we get most of our, 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 our knowledge about him uh, because of uh, Bede and his history. He talks a little bit about his, in his stories uh, about Ninya as he continued to uh, work with the, the Celts and the Scottish uh, and all of them. And so today we give thanks for this incredibly brave uh, Christian man. Uh, they also believe that he was probably, he believed probably the first bishop of Britain. Um, he also was a, a predecessor before uh, many of the other great writers of that period of time. Uh, in Scotland, he preached um, all the way through Scotland, uh, the uh, Grapenian Mountains. Uh, he preached to the Picts of Scotland there, and then Moray Firth. Some of you who are Scottish descent, you probably or have traveled there, you probably know where all these places are. Um, the before after him came Patrick, as we all know, Saint Patrick. He drove out the snakes, remember, and then uh, Columba. Uh, who was also a century and a half later after Patrick. So we give thanks for Ninya today as a man uh, with a passion for the gospel message. And so as we listen to Matthew's gospel and Psalm 67 tonight, you can't help but not get excited about praising God's blessings in our world. And as we uh, continue to work with our day and the people and sometimes the hurdles that we have to in endure, like wearing a mask or uh, enduring uh, trying to uh, wash our hands often, uh, like our doctors are asking us to do, you know, these are the things that help slow down a pandemic and this coronavirus so that we can get back to normal and especially our employers and all places of worship like uh, Grace Church all of us are trying to find normality and the greatest normality is in Jesus Christ. Because of him, he gave us the direction to go and to spread the good news. And the good news is that we love one another as we would like to be loved and to love God above all things. Amen. We continue our prayers on page 132, page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My sisters and brothers, let us pray the prayer Jesus taught to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. 
This is our colic prayer for this day. O God, who by the preaching of your blessed servant and bishop, Ninya, caused the light of the gospel to shine in the land of Britain, grant, we pray, that having his life and labors in remembrance, we may show our thankfulness by following the example of his zeal and patience. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from your, etern from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us continue with our prayers. Uh, if you join me on page 388, the prayers of the people form four. Page 388 in your Book of Common Prayer. And if you don't have a Book of Common Prayer, continue to pray with us in your own way. Let us offer our prayers, and if you'd like to post them online, you're welcome to do so as well. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in all the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. We especially like to pray for those folks in California who are battling the terrible fire, uh, forest fires. And we pray, O oh God, for their communities, especially those who have lost their homes and uh, are trying to put their lives back together. We ask you to be with those first responders and forest fires, uh, firefighters uh, who are bat battling these terrible blazes. And we pray for those who have uh, breathing conditions and who are struggling because of the terrible uh, air, pol uh, air, pop air pollution. Excuse me. We pray, pray, Lord God, for all of those folks and send your angels to protect them. We pray, O oh Lord, as well for the people battling and the flooding uh, in especially Alabama and Mississippi and Georgia. We pray as well for the, those who are uh, having to endure Hurricane Sandy and the remnants of it so what's left in Florida, uh, especially uh, in Pensacola in those areas. We pray, O oh God, for all those communities and for those uh, uh, families and first responders uh, helping them we pray for all those who are trying to come back to their homes this evening and hopefully keeping themselves safe in those flood waters. We pray, Lord, for all those that we may have respect for our environment. Help us, O oh Lord, in these times of crisis. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. We pray especially for all those who are celebrating a birthday or wedding anniversary today. Especially I'd like to pray uh, for Chase Durant's happy birthday, Chase, and for all of your family. And for those who are also celebrating other birthdays today and those who are celebrating a wedding anniversary this week, happy anniversary to all those couples who are with their best friend and love of their lives. We pray as well, Lord, for those who are, are important to our lives. I'd like to pray especially for the communities of St. John's Murray and for uh, Grace Church Hopkinsville, who are in uh, rector search processes at this time, and for their, their communities. We pray as well for the people of St. Peter's of the Lake <coughs> at this time. We thank you, Lord, for all of these communities and those special people in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. <coughs> I'd like to especially pray 
for those who are struggling because of illness this day, especially those with the coronavirus, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, Father Nick Yeager, <coughs> I'd like to also pray for those who <coughs> have cancer, especially for Patty and Father and for Jim Zelmer. And for anyone else who may be ill because of the coronavirus, we especially like to pray for our doctors and nurses at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. We pray for all those who passed away today. We especially pray for the eight people who passed away because of the coronavirus, and especially here in Kentucky, and for anyone who's had a loved one who has passed away, may their souls rest in God's holy comfort and peace in his loving arms. And we also pray for those who have lost a loved one as they mourn their loss. May God be with them and comfort them. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. O Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls. To you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. We, can, we go back to page 134 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 134 at the bottom. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and rest in, in, in sleep, asleep in his rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Sorry about my little cough. I'm doing fine right now. I hope you have a wonderful and restful sleep. And I please know that God loves each and every one of you. And so do I and the people of Grace Episcopal Church here in Paducah, Kentucky. Have a great sleep. Hope you can join me tomorrow at noon uh, for our noonday prayers. And then once again tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. Have a great sleep and have sweet dreams. <laughs>